welcome back. So I don't know what this vlog is gonna be for specifically. It just, I woke up today, it was really cozy out and there, it's been snowing all morning, which you guys have seen in some clips. And so I turned on all the lights, like all the Christmas lights and decorations in the house. I got cozy, I started watching the Santa Claus too because we already saw the first one. And I've just been working and looking at Christmas presents for people. And yeah, so I don't know if this is gonna be like a random vlog or if I'm going to include this in something, but I figured I would start it out today because it's super cozy vibes, which is exactly what Vlogmas is. I said this in my previous video, but we're kind of doing 12 days of Vlogmas like we did last year. And this is definitely not as organized as last year because <laughs> Last year, um, I had a plan. I knew I was gonna do it going into it. This year it was all delayed because my videos were delayed because I was waiting to make my pregnancy announcement. So I'm actually 17 weeks and one day today. Um, so that's exciting. But we finally announced on Monday and it is now Thursday. So everyone besides my work knows that I'm pregnant now. I'm telling my work in the new year, I just, I wanna enjoy Christmas. If I got some bad news about my maternity leave or they start acting weird around me, I don't wanna have to worry about it before Christmas time. Not that they should, cause that's illegal. That's what I've been up to today. I don't know what else I'm gonna include in this video, but. So some of the videos might be labeled Vlogmas, some of them might not, but they're if they're in December, that's what they are. So I'm gonna go, I have some work I gotta get done. And Zach is currently sanding the ceiling and then he's gonna be painting the ceiling. So we're getting started on our painting project pretty soon. These cabinets behind me will be a different color. Hopefully by the end of the year, we, we have some a mini remodel going on in the kitchen, um, which I will tell you guys about in a different video. I might do like a kitchen remodel video. Yeah, so we're getting started on some of the small projects. And um, well, this is a little bit bigger than small. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna stay, but it is the next day and you guys are strategically placed on my beautiful red KitchenAid mixer that I was planning on making so many Christmas cookies with this year. But our beautiful wall oven from 1968, that's right, it's 55 years old, um, <laughs> clearly doesn't work. Even though we were told before closing that it worked and then we moved in and it does not work. So yeah, anyway, that'll be part of like this, my ne our next like renovation vlog. So anyway, um, I figured I would end this vlog with a little bit of me making our first homemade meal in the new house. I have just been too sick to cook, even being in the kitchen, not good for me, um, but I feel ready. So the last time I made a home cooked meal, either right before I found out I was pregnant or right after because like there was like a week and a half when after I found out I was pregnant where I wasn't sick yet. I've made this dish before. I used to make it all the time in the apartment. It's the Mexican chicken with cheese sauce. So I'll show you guys the inspo picture, but it never turns out looking like that. Okay. So first of all, they make the, the rice, like the Spanish rice. We just do white because that's a lot of work, but I do make the cheese sauce and I do make the chicken how it calls for. So I'm gonna start making that, but I'm very excited. So let me get my, it's basically just like chicken breast and then you put seasonings on it and then you like grill it. Well, and then you like cook it on a pan because we can only make things onto the stove top right now because our oven doesn't work. Anyway, I just wanted to do like a little time lapse or something of me cooking to round out this video because in the beginning of this, because I started editing, like I edited like three videos today and actually I edited three and a half because this is going to be part of the fourth video. Um, and I took a bunch of clips in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, but I didn't actually vlog. And then I put all of them together thinking it'd be like 10 minutes and I'll just do like a 10 minute montage or like something like cozy video. Uh, it came together to be two minutes. So I was like, okay, I guess the video I filmed yesterday will be the second part to this video, that second part to the Bethlehem video. So I gave a little worded intro in the beginning of like, here's a little montage from us in Bethlehem. And then, so when I started filming yesterday, I didn't know I was gonna be lumping that into that video so now i know what's gonna happen with this video anyway i'm rambling and it's time to make dinner because i'm hungry i haven't had an actual meal yet today and as a pregnant lady that's no bueno so let's get started 
Flour, You're very butter. Cute, by the way. I love you. Thank you. Flour, butter, salt, pepper. Dog's being scary. Daisy, let me see. Daisy, let me see. <gasps> yes! You're so nice! Are you naked? Oh. She had an itch so bad when they cut Yay! Alright, so this these are the ingredients we need. So red pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, ground cumin, cayenne pepper. Well, this isn't in the recipe, but I like to sprinkle a little bit of it. Chili powder and paprika. Smells good. That's I, that's just the rice. Yeah. I haven't even started cooking yet. Rice does. I actually weird craving rice. Okay, you're pregnant too. Yeah. All right, a teaspoon of chili powder. Some of it already fell in. Okay. Yeah. A yes. teaspoon of garlic powder. A teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano. One two teaspoons of paprika, half, a teaspoon and a half of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. So I'm just gonna mix this up. So I'm gonna take the spices that we mixed, and literally all you're gonna do on these is just douse it in the spices, and then I just kind of pat them on. Okay, this is the worst angle ever. We're gonna start putting our chicken on the pan. So I'm gonna let each side get browned, and then I have one more cutlet I have to put in there once these are cooked. Uh, next, we have to work on the cheese sauce. Let me make this a little lower. This is also my first time cooking with our new pots and pans that we got from the wedding or for my bridal shower. A cup of extra sharp cheddar is eight ounces and that's this whole entire bowl. I don't feel like that's correct. That's a lot. For the cheese sauce, you need two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of butter, which I didn't get out yet, a cup of milk, a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a fourth teaspoon of paprika, and a cup of extra sharp cheddar, which is this entire block so I'm not gonna use this entire block. That sounds like really crazy to me. So I'm just gonna start shredding it and then see how much fits in a like a cup. Because um, this entire thing for one, like, no. This is another fun thing I got at the wedding, at the bridal shower, which basically was a wedding gift. Um, you put the cheese in here and then you like spin it and then it goes into there from here. That's like the worst way explaining it, but. Now we are melting the butter. This is two tablespoons of butter we need to melt, and then also we have the chicken, all the chicken cooking now. And then, after the butter's all melted, we do two tablespoons of flour. Okay, so now we do one of flour, two tablespoons of flour. And then we, wait until it bubbles around the edges. And then we add in the milk and continue whisking. Whisk until it's heated through. And then when it's hot enough to melt the cheese, we'll put the cheese in. And then once the cheese is done, the cheese is done. I feel like it's already bubbling, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the milk. One cup, so this is a fourth cup, so I'll do this four times. All the chicken is ready. I don't, like, I, it just gets hot so fast. And for that one, I turned it up a little bit. I got no clue. The stove is really tricky, but if you want to know what's about to happen to our kitchen and our stove, stay tuned and subscribe for our little kitchen remodel video. Okay, last ingredient, ingredient for the cheese sauce is the cheese. Now that the cheese is melting in and I'm like, I might need to add more cheese to it, even though I thought it was ridiculous to even need that much cheese. Okay, and then it calls for some paprika. It calls for like a fourth teaspoon, but I'm just gonna measure with my heart. And then an eighth teaspoon of cayenne. So I have to be really careful with this. It's probably good. Okay, mix, mix, mix.
Okay. Ta-da! Here's the finished look. <laughs> Doesn't quite look like the picture, but we tried our best. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of like a random video, but um, I'm glad that I was able to get it together and finish filming it. And I don't know when you're gonna see this. It might be pretty close to Christmas by the time you see this or like a week from now, I'm not sure. But happy holidays. Today's the first, no, today's the second day of Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah. <laughs> I actually don't even know if it's still gonna be Hanukkah when you guys see this video, but. Um, yeah, we're about to eat this. This is our first meal, home-cooked meal in the new house. And I'm excited. So stick around if you want to know more about what's going on behind me in about a week from now. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to keep you guys updated with that because I'm excited for it to happen. Come back for the next one.